And the forecast yesterday they said it was supposed to storm today. And uh, clearly that's not the case. It's literally gorgeous out. Today, starting it off, we're going up to Tommy F.E.S. shop. Now I have to go up there. He's selling me the turbo off his blacktop engine because he's upgrading and we're going to put that turbo on Rise car because we need it because this is blown, a.k.a. the booth mobile. So I'm excited to see the TI because I haven't seen it like all complete and I can't wait to see that, uh, that supercharger you got for it. So let's head there now, I guess. It's a must. By the way, guys, it's 90 degrees outside, which is insane, because like, less than a month ago, it was in the 40s, it's nuts. Northeast is crazy. Yo, Mike's car's here. All right, guys, I'm at Tommy F. Yeah, shop. This is Tommy F. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, I don't even know what to say. I mean, we got a million projects going on, but I'm so here to here. steal more stuff from you, like always. I don't have anything. So, I think this is it right here, right? Uh, I gotta find, there's two of them. I'm gonna give you the shittier one. Okay, whatever. No, as long as it works. I need, uh, I just need these pieces so the other one doesn't have them. Perfect. So if you guys remember the Boof Mobile, Rise car, turbo is completely blown. Just the SR turbo on a KA, and uh, Tommy has a few, so we're gonna take one. All right, so Tommy has two of them. He says it's the better one, so he's keeping that one, but the, his bad one is still like really good, so I'm pumped. I just gotta give him, you know, all the other stuff attached to it, because we don't even need it anyways. So, got that unbolted. Gonna take the inlet off. Uh, I think he wants these aftermarket fittings on here, which is good, we don't need them, and we should be all set. So many other YouTubers would have had that turbo in a car already. I hate you. <laughs> so the turbo's all set. This one's actually super clean. Turbine super tight, really pumped on it. This should get the Booth Mobile hitting tonight. Hopefully, I don't know, probably not. We're gonna try. What are you working on? A boating cable. You gonna? You know? You have a boat now? Yeah. All right, Tommy. I have to go. I have to get back to work. Unfortunately. I have to watch JDM Legends on Motor Trend on Demand, and that wasn't a paid sponsorship, but it's a good show. <laughs> Chris, nice to see you, hey, brother. Good to see you. Dom. Later, dude. Have fun. Good to see you. And we're out. Thank you again, Tommy. Thank you. I wish I could afford you. I wish. But we got the coolest car here. Mike, if you're watching. Love it. Make sure you subscribe to Mike Devine. Link in the description. A good time with Tommy messing around. Got a really good deal on the turbo, so shout out to Tommy again. And um, that's it. We had to start our hike down to the shop and get to work. And somehow it's so freaking hot out and it's supposed to rain in like two hours, so Let's beat the storm. The Saturn may be a roach, but you know what? The AC is ice cold, and that's awesome. So guys, around here, there's three things you can never escape. Death, taxes, and Waterbury traffic. In the vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Well, looks like we have a freaking storm tornado warning, which is insane. Don't think I've ever heard that before in my life. So I guess it's still supposed to storm. I finally made it. And YouTube's here. Awesome. Well, look how mint this turbo is. Let's feel the shaft play. Came with the gas. What shaft play? Shout out to Tommy. Jeez. All right, guys. So if you haven't seen the booth mobile in videos yet, we're changing a few things on it. We're basically correcting a lot of bad stuff that was just poorly done to this car a long time ago. We're also replacing the turbo, all the gaskets, all the studs, and we're doing the clutch on it. Now, we had to go get the new turbo from Tommy today because the old one is so disgustingly blown, it is embarrassing. Now, I'm putting Rye on the task to switch everything off it. So, everything you see on this turbo that's not on that turbo, put it on. All right. Sounds good enough? Sounds good. So if you guys remember in yesterday's video, I actually had to make an intake for my SR because I just opened turbo right now and uh, I could put a mesh screen on it, but when it comes to drifting, you kick up a lot of dirt and I don't want any anything going into my turbo. If I was just like, you know, street racing, then I'd probably just do a mesh, but I, did, I didn't want to drive it down the road until I did that because I don't want to destroy my turbo. So I made an intake, I cut it all up and Justin actually welded it for me last night and I just got it today. So he did a great job, welds came out amazing and the shape is perfect. It is ugly because I use like three different pieces of aluminum and one is really bad. So I'll probably just powder coat this black one in the meantime, this will get my car road worthy. Only issue is I made this in three different pieces and now that it's one piece, I can't get it in there because it's so tight. So I'm gonna fiddle around and see how I can make this work. It got so dark out in literally like 30 seconds. Yo, oh my God. Next. Dude, it's, dude, I just saw Don's story. It's hailing like insane in Naugatuck. I'm about to put the truck inside. It's only five o'clock. 
Shit's about to go down, Drew. I know. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh my god. Wait, how fast did that just come down? That was no warning. Okay, it's it's fast. Oh my god, I wish I was filming that. That was, that was so fast. Okay. Dude, look out there. Look at this. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, dude, oh my god. Is this dude, probably so regular for I, people from Florida and we're just like bugging out over I've this I've never right seen now? a storm like rainstorm this bad before. Up here, hell no. All right guys, so I mocked up the intake and I got it in, I just have to like really go under with it, but it fits perfect. It honestly couldn't fit any tighter. So I'm like really pumped about it. Now the red filter, it's what I had. I don't know if I care for it. I kinda wanted to get a black filter, but uh, I guess it just goes with the theme at this point. That's what got us going. We got the turbo on the manifold. We're getting there, Rise hooking up the lines now, and we're about to drop it in. Easy as that. The turbo's on, we are here. So now Rye has to put the inlet on, get intercooler pipe hooked back up, hook up the exhaust, and we can work on the clutch. Drew, to what's happening? The clutch is being put together. So we're on the part where we're torquing the flywheel. Gotta make sure this is done right, because when we went to take off the old flywheel, three of the bolts were loose. You put an ass in a Loctite, like you're supposed to. And then we're uh, we're torquing it to the correct spec. 95 foot pounds. Should a tight one. Done. All torque to specs. Now we're getting the tranny ready. Now this is funny. So Content. this had a solid mount on it before. Look at this brace. That almost looks like a swap brace, doesn't it? But this replaced the whole cross brace before. Just literally bolt the tranny to it, which sucks. Luckily, I have my old OEM mount for my SR that's actually like still like nuts. perfect. I wish I kept it, but we'll put it on Rise Tran with the new cross member and he should be good. So now with my old motor mounts, my old trans mount, this car actually probably won't vibrate itself loose again. So guys, last night we lost power, not only at the shop, but at my house. So it was a double L for me. <laughs> Back at the shop, had a late start, phone was dead, had no alarm. Slept in like a bum, but we're doing good today. Another rainy day, but we gotta get stuff done. We gotta get Ryan's car done completely today because he needs a daily because he just broke his daily, which is the way things work, but almost there. Everything up top is now done besides the intake. I put new fuel lines on. Of course, last night we got the clutch and pressure plate on. Now the fun thing is gonna be mounting up the transmission and KAs, they're a little tight back there. So what I did miss out on is I didn't, I don't think I showed you guys I put my strut brace on. Of course I hit it with the wrinkle black. Looks great, really happy with it. Got the Grady strut brace, love this, very happy. Does bring some structural rigidity to your car, especially when the rest of your car is so rigid because of the cage. Kinda need to reinforce the strut towers too, so really pumped on that. Now the only thing I really have to do with this car is give it a self alignment. I, I'm leaking a lot of brake fluid from my left side, like actually a lot. All right, that's a little weird, but gonna fix that, re-bleed the brakes, and she's street ready. Only Drew 2 would wash a car in the rain. My girlfriend makes me do this stuff, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get brownie points out there with your girlfriends, you know how it is. You can rinse it because the soap's gonna dry. <laughs> out here getting these brownie points, boys. Max on, wax off. Yeah. Guys, here comes the sucky part. Putting the tranny in. We replace the throttle bearing, of course. Always gotta make sure you do that. Now it's time to put it in. Now the trick to K transmission is put them in upside down. Reason why. The starter bump right here, and then like the top of the motor bump, no matter what you do, it will just keep bashing your training tunnel and won't go in. Trust me, I've done it for hours and it sucks. We figured out putting it in upside down is the wave. Nice, there it is. See, look how small the bell housing is now versus that. All right guys, so we got the nose of the transmission, or that we have the nose of the input shaft into the clutch, just the nose. Hard part is now getting the splines to go in. So I'm gonna put the camera down before I just run out of battery, and we just gotta shake this thing for the next hour and hope it just pops in. Then guys, we're good. What sucks is we actually had to pull the manifold back off. The downpipe was getting caught up on the bell housing because it is a KAT. I was neglecting that on K's, usually the manifold was out of the way, but KET. Putting in the cross member bolts right now, making Rye work, getting that all together, and then we drive shafts, fluid, and we should be good to go. Rye lost the starter bolts. I can't find them. You skunked yourself, man. We gotta get new ones. All right, so the Boofmobile, 
it's almost done, kind of. So Rye went to work, so we're gonna wait until he gets back to finish it, because I don't wanna just finish it for him. So he gets back at like 10.30, so hopefully we can get this done. You can drive it home tonight, that's the goal. I mean, there's not that much work left. We just gotta find the bolts and stuff. I need to go in, I need to wire up the tranny, fluids, drive shaft, that stuff, and we're in. I got some time to kill, so I, I've been working on my S13 casually. I, uh, I had a leaky brake fitting, it was just loose, eh? Tell you that, you guys probably don't really care to see that. And I'm gonna go fix the exhaust on the budget hatch while we have time, so I'm gonna go bang that out. Weldon Jip's exhaust. I gotta finish this damn car, dude. Jip, you ain't doing it. Somebody's gotta. Someone's gotta. So I just did his power steering line uh, that he was supposed to do. This is me virtually chopping you, Jip. Well, I banged out your power steering line, so that's all set, Jip. Now I'm gonna bang out your exhaust so you have no more excuses so we can finish your car. Finally. The whole thing was, Jip had this giant resonator in his exhaust that just made the exhaust hang so freaking low right here. I, I had the same issue, so I need to do this too, but we're gonna bang out Jip's car first. So he cut it out. Now we have a whole pipe section missing. So I gotta cut a pipe, shim it, put it to the right size, and then weld it up. So we're gonna do that. Jip, I wish you got stainless piping because the rest of your exhaust piping is stainless, but I guess this will do. Okay, so usually the first one is the easiest because we just have it mocked up and it's kind of just pointing in the direction where it needs to go and then from there we're going to basically split the difference with the angles of this pipe and the axle back. So we're just going to weld this up really quick and it'll be, it'll be easy. Oh, that's kind of smart. Not too bad for me. I'll take it. I don't know if it's correct way, but what I usually do for exhaust is I'll just keep laying tacks and just overlap the tacks instead of just trying to lay one uh, solid bead. You get a way cleaner weld and you get less buildup so you don't get all those like random little boogers that like a lot of people get when they weld exhaust. So that's just a tip. Just, you just gotta be patient because it takes a lot longer, but it's worth it. Guys, so we just kind of like, we, we put it in place. We think this is good. I just tacked it. So if I have to like change it up, we can just break it off and try it again. But we're gonna mock it up. We've been using the stock bumper as like a location for the tip because Jip took his other bumper home for some reason. Why on earth would you do that, Jip? But You're making our life Jip much is hooking us, more though. difficult. Because I texted him and said, hey, yo, we're hooking you, finishing your car. And I said, order us a, <laughs> I said, order us a pizza. And he said, say less. So it's <laughs> on our way. Shout out to Jip. But shout out to mainly Jimmy for finishing this. You know, I'm pumped though because I, I usually don't even get hooked up with food. Like, exactly. So this is yeah. good. I'll take it. Hopefully it fits. Let's try it out. So now, as you can see, the straight, that's where the, the can used to hang down to like here. So I think we'll be good. Can't really go much higher. The only way to go much higher would be to actually cut out the whole entire, you know, mid to axle back and actually arch it up. But I think we'll be good. You think so, Drew? Should we send her home the welds? Send her home. Not bad, no snot welds here. All right, Jip, hopefully this does it. We're gonna mock it up, see how it fits, and hopefully it doesn't hang super low. There it is, guys. Not bad. How's it fit with the bumper? Oh, that's perfect. There it is. Jip, your car's done. I, you know, that exhaust was so worth it. Oh, oh worth, it. worth it, worth it. Dude, we got the- Jip. We got facials of ranch. Jip, what else do you need done, Jip? Like, come on, I got you. Well, Drew Tube was great, uh, nice enough to nominate himself to put the drive shaft in. So, Drew Tube, my least favorite thing to do, especially when they're two piece. But we're out here getting <laughs> flakes of rust in my eye. They've all been so complaining about this whole build. So, accumulatively, have been looking for the drive shaft U brace for how long? Uh, too long. Too long. Probably a good 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Hopefully, it pops up and we can get the drive shaft in. This sucks. One piece. Damn it. Tucker, where is it? Did you eat it? Yeah, you ate it. 30 minutes later. Found it. We found it. In the engine bay. Barely. Have fun getting that in there. No dibs. Uh, come on, Ryan. <laughs> How's it going, guys? This fucking bolt stripped. Ryan is so lucky he's friends with me. This has been the longest drive shaft install. Actually, yeah. you know what? No. Yeah. DJ putting his drive shaft in the Sylvia before it went one piece. I'm how bad that was. No, that. Oh my god, no. We're, uh, I'm gonna let them let them go. I'm gonna chill. Right, guys, God bless your soul, man. Just did oil return. I don't know what Ryan was doing, but he just finished what he was doing. 
Um, for some, I put the whole intake in, and then rise like you. I didn't put the turbo inlet on, so that's cool. I gotta take all that off again, but uh, we're gonna do that. He's gonna put two quarts, of, two and a half quarts of training fluid in. You're gonna do that right now, right? All right. All right. right. Go do it. Yeah, that's right. Go do it. He's gonna go do that. So <laughs> he's gonna get the training fluid in. Put the shifter in. Put fucking oil in it, and we're good. Wait. She done yet? Almost. Last port. Last piece of the god dang puzzle. You stoked, Drew, too? I'm stoked. I'm scared. I'm scared. This car doesn't deserve a funnel. Oh, look at that. FT. Let's go. It's all about the angle. Yeah. The main thing. Put your shifter on yet? No, I did not do that. Well, that's nice. Brian, put your shifter on, boy. That was a spring, and I remember I took yeah, it out, and it just shot up. Yeah, so. <laughs> What time is it? Almost one? <laughs> no, we're almost done. Check up our oil pan. Shifter's on! Boy! Boy! Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Come forward. Tucker! <laughs> yeah, another jack stuff. Oof mobile! Officially on the ground! Let's hope it runs. Any of these gauges work, right? What? Nothing. But the gas gauge. Oh, the AFR works. That's good. Oh, and the blue That's gauge. all that matters, yeah. Battery location to the seat, passenger seat. Did not do that. Long enough to put it back there. Cool. All right, let's start it up. Guys, she runs. She surprisingly sounds healthier. The, it has no muffler on it, and it's way louder than I'd ever expect this to be with no muffler. I guess we're gonna do a, a muffler tomorrow. I didn't realize this was off. That's cool. There we go. KT looks better. We got the new valve cover for it. Rise gonna paint it because this pink is her like horrendous. Horrendous. Absolutely hate it. We're gonna put the new hood on. But it's, but that's it, guys. The clutch is now done. We got the new turbo. Got it all sealed up. Brand new fuel lines, put new plugs, did a bunch of stuff to get this thing back on the ground, and it's already looking and sounding better. Look dry. Good looks to Jimmy and Drew. <laughs> All right. So we're going to officially finish the booth mobile tomorrow. We'll get the front end back on it with the new fenders, new hood. We'll fix the exhaust, and then we'll have Rye back on the road with his booth mobile, unfortunate daily. At least the booth stuff over and not like tomorrow's the cosmetic stuff so it's always a little yeah, bit more yeah. rewarding. I want to do something about the battery location and his like gauges and wiring yeah, eventually yeah. but for now she's here and running so there she is. We're, we're going home. We wanted to go home like two hours ago so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And dry. Swipe up. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> Where's Tuck? You gotta finish the video. What do you gotta say? <laughs> Have a good night.